Hey everyone, welcome to the Flippin' Hippos. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Star. If you're new to the channel or you haven't already, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that thumbs up as you're watching and join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Really great group of resellers. Today is Tuesday, December 13th. It's not a Monday, but we're still going to do what sold on eBay. We're a day late, but better late than never. Um, I just got caught up in working on the new guides for 23 yesterday and ran out of time. So here we are. We're looking at December 5th through December 11th in this video. We sold nine plush, which is more than one a day. Woo woo, because that's back to normal times. Uh, we used to sell about one to two plush a day. Um, based on how much we actually have listed now, I would settle for one every other day, but nine in one week is really good. And we sold a lot of really great brands. Tons of jeans are flying out the door. Um, I'm sourcing and listing more jeans than ever before. And a lot of what I'm putting up is selling very quickly. So that's also good news. Let's jump right on in with this sock monkey. This is a generic sock monkey. He does not have a brand, which is a-okay and just fine. I tell you guys sometimes... Um, it's okay to list generic plush if they don't have a brand, as long as you have good keywords in the title. So, Sock Monkey was the first words I put up. Remember, your title is very valuable real estate, and you want to list things in order of importance. Um, so, Sock Monkey is first because that's what he is. He is a really cute Sock Monkey. Um, I probably would have kept him if I liked Sock Monkeys. I like them. They're cute, but they're nothing I collect. Um, but I do love purple. But he is just cute. So we um, got him in a lot. He was probably about a dollar. He sold for $13.99 and shipped first class. Next up, we have this vintage Beanie Buddy Dachshund. So he's not a Beanie Baby. He is a Beanie Buddy. I don't shy away from Beanie Buddies or the Attic Collection or anything like that. This guy was free to me. He was part of a lot. We bought a clothing mm -hmm. and that person had thrown in a bunch of free plush for me as well. So he sold for $13.49 on a best offer and he shipped first class. He's a little wiener dog. Isn't he cute? Little wiener dog. Next up, we have Scooby-Doo. He was 50 cents at the Goodwill and he sold for $17.99. He's a really cute Scooby-Doo. He took a long time to sell. Um, that's okay. Sometimes they take a little while. Plus your very long tail. Um, you can see some of the keywords I used here. I often put Great Dane in the title when I have a Scooby-Doo, if I have room. Next up, we have something out of order here. All right, we have a Build-A-Bear Disney Princess Palace Pet. So, she is a Build-A-Bear. She is Aurora's kitty. Her name is Beauty. And she is a special Build-A-Bear um, from the Disney Palace Pets. And she sold for $17.99. And she went in a larger poly bag, and she just barely hit first class. She was like 15.9 ounces in the bag. Um, or else she would have gone up with charged calculated shipping on her and would have went in a box. But she barely made the grade. Disney Store, Finding Nemo, Dory Plush. Dory was actually in my video over the weekend when I showed you guys the new List Perfectly feature on the solds. This was 50 cents and sold for $15.99 and shipped first class. We have a Hug and Love Santa Claus teddy bear. This is 16 inch uh, bear in a Santa suit. Hug and Love is kind of a generic brand, um, but the themed, you know, holiday plush do well in any brand. The bear sold for $13.99. Our cost was 50 cents and it also shipped first class. And we have a Build a Bear Easter Bunny. These, um, I've been selling a lot of Easter. It's really weird. Um, it's actually, if I were to, to tell you our 
best-selling holiday plush or Easter. We sell Easter bunnies, Easter chicks, Easter themed plush, spring animals all year long. And I think I sold the most of those. Um, people like their Easter plush, I guess. So the Build-A-Bear was a dollar, sold for $15.74, and shipped first class. And we may have only had eight. Yeah, we had eight plush when that pair of jeans out of order there when I counted my tabs. So allow me to retract what I said at the beginning. We sold eight plush, still more than one a day. And here is the best one of the week. This is an Alpha Beans monkey. He was 50 cents uh, way back when we were still in Florida. I say way back. We've been back in Pittsburgh for a couple of months. Um, the beginning of the summer, I want to say it was. Keith and I went to a local thrift out there and found a bag full of plush. It was $16, but there was, or it was $8 and there was 16 plush in there and they all came out to 50 cents a piece. And they were all vintage. They were really great finds. Uh, most of them sold already and they went up for between 20 and 50 bucks. There was just all different kinds of vintage in there. And a lot of them were these alpha alpha beans animals this is the monkey letter m and he is super cute he sold for 26 24 and i did put him in a little box because he was um a more expensive plush and he had his tag so oftentimes if a plush is more than 20 dollars and it has a tag even these small ones we have these little brown boxes that we'll put them in that we get from the boxery there's a link down below um if you need to order boxes from the boxer okay now we're going to get into the clothes so american eagle solid bread and butter brand and i pick these up by the dozens every week for 99 cents at salvation army and goodwill um i won't really pay more than 99 cents for them maybe two bucks but not really i just if they're 99 cents i'll take all the american eagle off the rack there could be 100 pairs and i'll take all 100 they sell consistently for $20 for me. Um, they typically do ship in a priority envelope unless they're a smaller size and they can go first class. And plus sizes, or if there's anything unique about them, I will start a little higher, like around 23 to maybe 22. And the men's I'll do for 25. But these consistently sell all the time. And you can see this is usually a hard size to sell, size four. Um, avoid that size in a lot of the brands, but American Eagle Gap and Old Navy, those three, um, they're, I will buy them all the time. 99 cents, any size, any style, they all do well. Those three brands just have a following. Um, they have people that like the jeans. They know what they want. They know what they wear in those brands and they shop for them online all the time. Next up, we have Levi's 505 women's straight leg jeans. I love Levi's. I love all Levi's, you know, but some sell for more than others. And they're all often kind enough to give you all your keywords right there on the tag. I did take a best offer of 25 on these, and they did ship in a priority envelope. Um, flat rate envelope. Democracy. This is one of my favorite brands to find and flip. Um, I start most of them around 30, sometimes 35, depending, you know, if they're plus size or have anything unique about them. They have the ab technology and then they have the ab solution, which are shaping and slimming jeans. And the size 14 is a good size. I did take a best offer of 27 on these and they did ship in a um, flat rate envelope. Gap. Speaking of Gap, here's Gap. $19.99, 99 cents into 20 all day long. Um, these actually, um, size 28 is a good size, but I would pick up any size of these. And they shipped in a priority flat right on below. Chico's, so slimming. So I have a rule with Chico's. I don't thrift it or source it. And even if it's only 99 cents, I, I will leave Chico's on the rack, except for the so slimming. And the so lifting lines, because those are slimming and shaping jeans, which again um, are really great to find. These are the Chico So Slimming Girlfriend Slim Ankle.
they're gray, so they're not even um, a regular color of jeans, like the blue jeans. But these sold within a day of being listed. And they went for $22.49. And they shipped, I don't know why that says free expedited, um, flat rate. So yeah, and they were 99 cents and they sold within a day of going up. Um, Chico's so slimming and so lifting do typically really well. Um, the only thing I would add, when you do um, sell Chico's, they have the vanity sizes, so they have their own sizing. You have to go um, to their website and look up their size chart, and you can look it up one time and save the picture to your computer or your phone or print it out and tape it to your wall or whatever. Um, and just include both. Make sure that you include both of those in your description. So that's what I do right here. And then I'll put both in the title as well. Seven for All, Mankind. These are wide leg flare, low rise jeans. And they weren't kind enough to put that anywhere on the tags. I had to figure that out myself by doing the measurements. Um, if you're not familiar how to tell all those things by um, the measurements, my jeans guide that I have out does go over all of that. Um, if you haven't bought it yet, I would hold off because the new guide is coming out for 2023, um, the first week of January. And I'm actually adding a couple, I'm adding a chapter about Levi's in there and some other goodies to it. So it'll be all brand new, fresh, updated for 2023 with some new stuff. Um, but there is a whole section in my jeans guide that tells you how to tell the rise, um, the style, just from measuring jeans, goes over the different types of washes. It's a pretty nice guide, but hold off. Don't buy it now because it's coming out updated in a couple of weeks. More democracy, absolution. These are size 18. Um, w stands for women, 18 women's, which just means plus size. So if you ever see that W, it's a plus size. You can put that right in your title. Plus size does really well um, in anything. Jeans, shirts, uh, just always make sure you advertise that you have plus size because women are looking for that and it is harder for them to find clothing um, in the stores. So just, you know, keep your eye out for these when you're sourcing for plus sizes and put it in your title. And you can charge a little bit more for plus size. So these sold for $30.43 on our 30% off on the weekend. And they shipped in a um, priority flat rate. Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirt. This was up for less than a day. It went up Friday. It sold overnight and sold for $21.87 on the sale. This was only 99 cents as well. Um, I believe everything I've shown you thus far was 99 cents as far as the clothing. Yep. Uh, Dead Space. This was actually one of our old video games. So it's not really got a cost of goods. It was just we were downsizing um, our video games because, you know, we have a PS4 and an updated um, Xbox so we're getting rid of some of our older video games. This one sold for $15.74. Shipped first class. A Columbia men's button front shirt. This is a size large. This is Omni Shade, new with tags. We paid $0.99 cents for it and had it listed for $30, but it went on a 30% off sale and was marked down to $26.24, and we took a best offer of $21. Chip first class. Another pair of seven for all mankind. These are the A pocket flares. And these sold for $26.24 and shipped in a priority envelope. Joe's jeans, petite boot cut. So these um, say that on the tag, petite boot cut. So I just took that right off the tag to use as my keyword up here. And these sold for $26.99 on the best offer. They were $0.99. Cents. They shipped in a priority flat rate. 
And now, last but not least is a Robert Graham button front shirt. Now this is new with tags, which does make it a little more valuable. When it comes to Robert Graham's, um, if you're buying them used, just keep in mind that these plain colored ones, these solid colored ones, typically take a little bit longer to sell and will sell for a little bit less money than the Robert Graham's with the really loud, bold prints. I'm sure you're familiar with those. If you're not, take a gander on eBay. Just look for Robert Graham. And a lot of them will have these really, really bright, loud prints. I've seen some with cars on them. I've seen them with horses. They usually have flip cuffs, which means when you flip the cuff up, it'll be a different print than the rest of the shirt. Um, this is just a tailored fit, but it is a linen blend and it is new attacks. So um, that's what made this one so valuable. Now, if this was a used linen blend, solid color, Robert Graham probably would sell for about $25, $30. So just keep that in mind. Um, we did not have a cost of goods on this. It was sent to me by a friend I met in Boston. Beth, hi, if you're watching this, hi, and thank you so much again. Beth had sent us this purple one and a blue Robert Graham um, for resale because when I spoke at the eBay Open event in Boston, I talked about Robert Graham's, and so she was nice enough to send me two. And this, uh, we actually just now got them listed. So um, you guys know the eBay open event was in September and we received these in October, somewhere in between all of the trips I took. And then we were moving, it was a crazy mess. And then they got misplaced and we found them and they got listed last week, finally. So, I mean, it, it didn't take it long to sell. I think it probably also helps that we're in the holiday season, Christmas is coming. And it is new with tags. So someone probably bought this for someone for a nice gift. We did take a best offer on this. So we sold it for $50, five zero, And it shipped first class. But because it is new with tags and it wasn't a more expensive shirt, I took the time to wrap it all fancy with tissue paper and put a thank you sticker on it and stuff. Um, so a lot of our bread and butter items that we volume sell that, aren't very expensive. We'll just put right into a poly mailer. But when it's new with tags or it's expensive, I will take the extra care with it. So that is the highlights of our sales from the week. It looks like things are really starting to pick up. Um, we're trying to remain active and keep listing every day. We're having some struggles with the new listing tool. Um, I talked about that in my live show last week, and I, um, I'm not going to repeat myself, but it's just very... It's a struggle and it's very frustrating, but we're gonna to continue to keep listing and hopefully build our volume back up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. It's there for you guys. Hey, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best, bye.